Yes, and be glad in it. Give thanks unto him. Celebrate God for the privilege of life. Thank him for the grace he has given unto you to approach unto his throne this morning. Exalt his majesty. You slept, you are woke because the Lord sustains you. Give you glory and honor. Magnify God. Exalt his majesty this morning. Ralo shiga plarabalakatosolobalia. Ralo bashakaba. It's by his mercy that we are not consumed. Give thanks unto him this morning. Celebrate him, appreciate him, giving glory and honor. The Lord is in his house this morning. Give thanks unto the Lord, appreciate him for what he said to do again to us this morning. Celebrate him. He has not asked the son of Jacob to seek him in vain. Give thanks unto the Lord, appreciate him, give him glory and honor. Celebrate him, exalt his majesty. He's a faithful father. Thank him, thank him, thank him this morning. Exalt his majesty. Father, thank him. Father, we appreciate you this morning. We celebrate you for your faithfulness that endures forever. We appreciate you. We are alive and well because you cause to be. Give thanks unto him. Celebrate him. Give him glory and honor. Exalt his majesty. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Thank him for answers to our prayer on this platform. Give him glory and honor. Exalt his majesty. He's taking you forward this morning. Advancing you this morning again on this platform. I'm set for you again this morning on this platform. To be lifted. To be added to. Tell him what you want him to do in your life this morning again. In his presence. Fullness of joy. Pleasure forevermore. I'm not returning the same way I came. I shall be empowered on this platform this morning. I shall be empowered on this platform this morning to advance my destiny again. God will answer you on this platform this morning again. Express your desire unto him this morning. Thank you for his word I send you across my way this morning. Thank you for your word you are sending across my way this morning. Your word of life, your word of transformation. Thank you, Father. In the precious name of Jesus, we have prayed. Let's welcome the priest. Lift up your hands and bless the name of the Lord this morning. As the dew panted for the waters, so my soul longed after thee. You alone art my heart, desire and I long. Worship you. Say, I subdue the and the waters. So my soul longed after thee. So you alone, you alone are my heart. and say you
Worship you, and I long to worship you. Hallelujah! Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. I hear the sound of the army of the Lord. I hear the sound of the army of the Lord. It's the sound of praise, the sound of war. The army of the Lord, the army of the Lord, the army of the Lord. Marching on, I hear the sound. I hear the sound of the army of the Lord. I hear the sound of the army of the Lord. The sound of praise, the sound of war. The army of the Lord, the army of the Lord, the army of the Lord is marching on. I hear the sound. I hear the sound of the army of the Lord. shortly to pray we're praying father in the name of jesus arise and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church thereby turning this church into a city without walls psalm 68 and verse 1 to 2 let god arise and let his enemies be scattered rise to your feet with me as we pray in the name of jesus christ father in the name of jesus arise and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church thereby turning this church into a city without war. Somebody engage this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, arise and scatter 
every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Arise and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. In the name of Jesus Christ, arise and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you will arise and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. He said, Behold, they shall gather, but not by me. Every gathering shall fall for your sake. Father, we ask that you will arise and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Somebody lift up a voice and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise, Father, and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. You have ordained your church for continuous growth. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you will arise and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church thereby turning this church into a city without walls in the name of Jesus Christ in Amplande Lushata Laka Pradia Dosusia Lirota Ala Roshata we ask that you will arise this morning and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church thereby turning this church into a city without walls in the Pralolia Shatalalo in the Lo Paradia Catalaro Shitaleane in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, arise and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Etakaloa, Meliado, Sopralia, Shatala, Ekapalelo, Inialada, Piralanda. Somebody pray. Let God hear your voice of intercession this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that you will arise and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, thereby turning this church into a city without walls e la prania nosa le capa le danena e lusa prania le caro saprania la taria every gang up against the continuous growth of this church arise and scatter them arise and scatter them lorusata ma prania nosa e li capa ria la nombre dia sutolia la ga every gang up against the continuous growth of this church arise and scatter them lorutia saprania no sigala thereby turning this church into a city without walls, a pralena no peria, zisolo turia, a calopania, landa fradia, liro to suria, wherever they are gathered, arise and scatter them, a loriata, ma pranenea, zisolo diria, a loriata, ma praniala, so sutulia, we ask that you will arise and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, thereby turning this church into a city without walls, a pralodia, samalaneala, a copania, let's a susulia, la caprania, a lusa. Every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, arise and scatter them. La rodiata, ma prania no satikala, e lusa prania, arise and scatter them, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Le prania nosa, e calo paria, ni nalosa, e pranigala, li socholia, e nalo, predicata, e kushatala, arise in the name of Jesus Christ and scatter every gang up against the continuous growth of this church, thereby turning this church. Into a city without walls, etapara, le no parianana, gilosaria. Give him thanks, appreciate him, glory to your name, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's have our seats, please. Shout glory. We take our next prayer saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, turn all our new coverts our new members into instant and active disciples of Christ, thereby leading many to Christ. John chapter 4, verse 29 and 39, the Samaritan woman had an encounter with Jesus, and verse 39, the many of the Samaritans in that city believed on Jesus for the testimony of the woman. Shall we start to our feet, lifting up our voice unto God? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, turn all our new converts, our new members, into 
instant and active disciples of Christ, thereby leading men into Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, turn all our new converts and new members into instant and active disciples of Christ, thereby leading men into Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, turn all our new converts and new members since this year began into instant and active disciples of Christ, thereby leading many to Christ. Are you praying? Is God hearing your voice of intercession this morning? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, turn all our new converts and new members into instant and active disciples of Christ, thereby leading many to Christ. In the name of Jesus, are you praying? Are you engaging from the depth of your heart? Are you engaging intensely? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, turn all our new converts and new members into instant and active disciples of Christ, thereby leading many to Christ. Mala, Zebala, Tela, engage in the Holy Ghost. Again with your other study from the depth of your heart. Bela Talia Zemala Polia Ziza Malokotomia Bela Tata Sina Sina Bataro Kotomi Father in the name of Jesus Tom all our new converts and new members into Easter and active disciples of Christ, thereby leading many to Christ. Belia, Zeri, Bali, Zenata, Bolia, Dia Catali, Bia Zata, engage in a cry of faith, engage in a cry of the Spirit. Bia Zetalo, Malakatali, Z. Are you still praying? Bata ta 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, turn all our new covert and new members. Ne te 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 te. Ba sitalate. Ito instant and active disciples of Christ, thereby leading many. To Christ, Boliza, Kabali, Zeria, Ba Zeta Tatali, Aloko Tomiazi, Abate Te Te Te, pray, pray in the Holy Ghost, intensely, Bala Tatatano, Mila Zeli, Agabere Tototomia, Tom, all our new covert. Into instant and active disciples of Christ, thereby leading many to Christ. Batina, Zilalo, Zilalo, Balia Kotomi, Bala, Kobali Tobi. Give God thanks, celebrate Him. Father, we thank you. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You may please be seated. Glory. We shall yet pray and we shall pray in this manner. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit whistle across our harvest field, thereby compelling the ingathering of multitudes into this church all through this prophetic season. We take our anchor scripture from Isaiah chapter 5, verses 26. And it says, I will lift up my ensign to the nation from afar, and we hease unto them from the ends of the earth, and they shall come swiftly with speed. Let us rise up and lift up our voice. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit whistle across our harvest field, thereby compelling the ingathering of multitudes into the church 
all through this prophetic season. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit whistle across our harvest field, thereby compelling the ingathering of multitudes into this church all through this prophetic season. Let the multitudes ordained for salvation continually hear his easing of come, come, come to faith tabernacle and let them come with speed, speedily. Let them come swiftly, no delay. Maletosia, impretesosi. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost whistle. Let his voice be heard all across the harvest field, compelling the ingathering of multitudes into the church, all through the provinces. Is somebody praying? Laboria to Sisia, Impretesikia, and the Labaro Sierra, Limberushikata, Emberisia. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost whistle across our harvest field. Compelling the ingathering of multitudes into the church. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus for the operation of the Holy Ghost, for his sound, his voice, his irresistible voice, all across our harvest field to compel the ingathering of multitudes into this church, the faith tabernacle, all through this prophetic season. Melusigaba and the Luciata. Is somebody praying? Lift up your voice. Rosie Canada. The Father has promised to give the Holy Ghost when we ask. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost whistle across our harvest field, compelling the ingathering of multitudes all through the provinces into the church. Let them come swiftly with speed. Let them be drawn in. Let them be drafted in. Is somebody praying? Register your voice this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost continually whistle across our harvest field, compelling the end gathering. Let him gather in the multitudes. Let him gather in everyone ordained for salvation into the faith tabernacle all through this prophetic season. Melusigaba, Ambre de Sosierba, Le Peru Sierba, La Docite. Remember, the flesh profits nothing. It is the spirit that quickens. It is the spirit that performs. Merusita, Embalada, Tunde, Andalada. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost whistle across our harvest field and let him compare the ingathering of multitudes into the church all through the prophetic season. Somebody is praying in the Holy Ghost, praying the Holy Ghost. Press that prayer through. Press that prayer through. Pray intensely. Erusiketa, embalusierba, malabaru sendelotia, adaka berusi, embrodosierba, adelusese, mentosierba. Lift up those hands. Begin to give him thanks. Thank him for answers to prayer, for the compelling whistling of the Holy Ghost all across the harvest field. Merusiketa, compelling the end gathering of multitudes. Father, we thank you. We celebrate you. Give him thanks to the Holy Ghost. You do well to give him thanks in the spirit. Le produciata in the labara mazoso e pregedesosia adeno si geberne lembro dosierba azosia. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Please, you may be seated. From glory to glory. And next, we're going to be praying for ourselves personally. We'll say, Father, and do me with the spirit of love so I can continue to pursue after souls with passion until they are saved and established in the faith. We will say, Amen. amen. Jude 1 22 23. Some having compassion are making a difference, saving others with fear and pulling them out of fire. Shall we rise? And pray for ourselves personally. Father, and do me with a spirit of love so I can continue to pursue after souls with passion 
until they are saved and established in the faith. Lord, endure me. Endure me with the spirit of law uh, so I can continue to pursue after souls with passion until they are saved and established in the faith. Someone is praying. Pray for himself as I pray for myself. Father, endure me with the spirit of love and so I can continue to pursue after souls with passion until they are saved and established in the faith. Oh Lord, my Father, my God, endure me with the spirit of love and so I can continue to pursue after souls with passion until they are saved and establish in the faith in the name of Jesus Lord and do me and do me oh Lord afresh with the spirit of love so I can continue to pursue after soul with passion until they are saved and established in the faith in the name of Jesus someone is praying as I'm praying for myself father and do me with the spirit of love so I can continue to pursue after souls with passion until they are saved and established in the faith. Is someone praying? Is someone praying? I am praying for myself and you are praying for yourself. Father, and do me with spirit of love so I can continue to pursue after souls with passion until they are saved and established in the faith, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, and do me, and do me, O oh Lord, uh, with the spirit of love, so I can continue to pursue after souls with passion until they are saved and established in the faith, O oh Lord, my Father, my God, Eloshata Labaradi. E cloradiano, e prosanitana rawashanda, bale shandi, e lopano, le ketano, ale kelozatala, yerush ana parondi anita, bale kenozia, e panada, yerushanate, e kerado, abrade, yerushana, le ketana, ora de zuzia leta, babaro tekletolia, Erusha la balada, zazeno meyano, inkero borandia, anzengolano, ekleto bradia, alesha pano zite leta balo, abalate, ye koranda, ezutiane, malotaka, e protalo, ezuzia, aresha balo ketonani, imbaladada, yaroziane, ero bradia, ale kopatozi, ratozizo, Arade, Imprato, Ambanido Palada, Zezoradia, Agaba Babra Rose, Incloto Pradi, Azuzelea, Ashande, Moronte Canobia, Abrazose, Recota Labaya, Malenco Nadia, Etopali, Letozano, Incleto Radi, Abarazose, Reto Parada, Yalusha Laba, Eko parande, ezu gerande, alampo ne sonte no baranda, eke tozi alisha, pali sento pani, em balanda, ezu ziane, eke rando, em prokoto zi alisha. Father, thank you. Lord, I give you praise. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Please be seated. Shout glory. Very shortly we shall be rising up, and when we rise, we shall be praying this way. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the ears of every unsaved soul across our harvest field continue to hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit this week and be drafted to this church this coming Sunday. Acts chapter 2 verse 6. When this was noised abroad, the multitude came together. Shall we rise on our feet therefore? Lifting up our voice to heaven, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the ears of every unsaved soul across our harvest field continue 
to hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit this week and be drafted to this church this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are praying. Ensure you are engaging with your heart. Ensure you are engaging with your heart in this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the ears of every unsaved soul across our harvest field continue to hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit this week and be drafted to this church this coming Sunday. All over Lagos, all over Ota, all the surrounding villages, all the interiors, all the hedges. Father Lord, we look up unto you and we pray in the name of Jesus that the ears of every unsaved soul all throughout this week shall continue to hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit and be directed to this church this coming Sunday. Father, let it be in the name of Jesus that every ear of the unsaved souls across our harvest field shall hear the compelling sound of the Holy Ghost and be directed into this church this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus. Make sure you are praying. Lift your voice to heaven. Lift your voice to heaven. Calling upon the Lord. Malaysia Kata. En Krabo Shada. Eko Zapo Shada. Palebo Zataya. When this was noised abroad, the multitude came together. Oh Lord, all across Lagos and Ota and Baros, let the ears of every unsaved soul hear the compelling sound of the Holy Ghost and be gathered in this church this coming Sunday. Let them be drafted into this church this coming Sunday. Is somebody still praying? Make sure you are praying. Engaging with your heart in the name of Jesus. Malezusa in Kraba Shedoria. Malamprada, 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 Malamprada. Compelling sound of the Holy Ghost. Compelling sound of the Holy Ghost. Let the ears of every unsaved soul across our harvest field continue to hear the sound all through this week and be drafted into this church this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus. Malezusa, Ekradada, Mashaka Zekete, Ekozada, Malezusa. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the ears of every unsaved soul across Lagos, across Ota, and the environs across our harvest field continue to hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit all through this week and be drafted into this church this coming Sunday. In the name of Jesus, Marasakata, Ekosada. Is somebody still praying? Is somebody still praying? It is written, the voice of the Lord breaketh the cedar. The voice of the Holy Spirit, the compelling sound of the Holy Ghost that destroys opposition. Let the ears of the essential across the harvest field continue to hear this compelling sound, this compelling voice this week and be drafted into this church this coming Sunday. Make sure you are praying. Ma resekota en klabaya ma leruda. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the understanding. Pray in understanding. Pray in the Spirit. Ma lesese engage in the heart in this prayer. Ma ridada ma sekosa en kalabalaba eruba ya balaba ma sekosa kata. Every one of them, every unsaved soul across Lagos, across Ota. Let them continue to hear the compelling sound of the Holy Ghost and be drafted into this church this coming Sunday. Father, we thank you. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Please be seated. I shall glory in this covenant of our prayer. It is testimony time. Please listen to these documented testimonies and be blessed. One, supernatural provision. I joined this ministry in March 2016, and since then, I've keyed into all the instructions from the altar. I would wake up in the middle of the night to attend to service online. We also started engaging in kingdom advancement prayers. We were financially handicapped for years, despite hard work. 
Thereafter, we started praying vengeance prayers. Got the correct kingdom mentality about payment of tithe, and God supernaturally opened the door for us in our finances. In August, I was presented with some medical bills that I naturally could not pay. However, the following week, God supernaturally made a way for me to have some assessment done without having to pay the large sum of money I was to pay originally. Our daughters also needed dental care, and we didn't have any medical insurance at that time. But the dental manager called us three days after the medical service that a bill for my daughters will be paid for. I thought we were clapping for Jesus. God is so good. I just focus on seeking first the kingdom, and he has just been adding to us. Also, no matter how careful we were with spending, we wouldn't still be able to meet our financial needs due to unexplainable misfortunes. However, over the last few weeks, I have seen the hand of God work to supernaturally provide for us with ease. To him alone be other glory. Elizabeth Benjamin is the testifier. Number two, a brand new heart. I've been a member of this church for many years, and God's hand has continually been visible in my family. But about five years before now, I was seriously attacked in the middle of the night, which led to a serious heart condition. This made me unable to breathe very well. Therefore, I couldn't do any serious activity, even though my business involved physical strength. I engaged in evangelism, sharing of flies, but couldn't pray much as a result of the heart condition. Therefore, I started paying for the transportation of students and members weekly, financial seats to less privilege and to support student members. Praise the Lord. I started paying for the transportation of student members weekly, financial seats to less privilege and to support the cause of the kingdom. I keyed into the testimony of the man that had spiritual surgery done on his hand without bloodletting. Suddenly, after the anointing service on May 22nd, 2016, I dreamed that night that Papa said to me, God has given you a new heart. Behold, immediately I woke up, all symptoms disappeared. God gave me a new heart. Blessed be God of Bishop David Uiripo, who never abandons his own. To him alone be all the glory. James Okoti is the testifier. Will you rise to your feet as we celebrate God for these testimonies?
walking in the light, walking in the light. Said I will walk, I will walk, walk in my master. Got an army marching through the land. Deliverance is the song with healing in their hands. Everlasting joy and life forevermore. In this army, I've got a part. In this army, I have got a part. God's got an army. We are marching through the land. Deliverance is the song with healing in our hands. With everlasting joy. And life forevermore forever in this army. Lift your hand to heaven and give God thanks and praise him. Celebrate him for the privilege of standing in his presence again this morning. He's worthy of all the praise. Glorify his name. Honor him. Celebrate him. He's worthy. Lord, we thank you for the privilege, for the blessing of being drawn into your presence again. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. We honor you. We celebrate you. Blessed is the one that you choose and cause to approach unto you. We have come today because you have chosen us. You have called us. You have drawn us. We give you the praise. Now begin to ask the Lord to speak to you directly this morning. Send your word from heaven, Lord. By your word this morning, let every one of our lives be changed dramatically from level to level, from glory to glory, from dimension to dimension. We'll give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Our Father, we come before you today. We are thankful for the privilege of standing in your presence. We ask that you speak directly to us again. By your word, let everyone be changed supernaturally. We give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. And somebody believe God, say loud, amen. Give Jesus a big hand and please be seated in his presence. Shout glory. We began looking yesterday at this line of exhortations. Serving God is every believer's covenant responsibility. Serving God is every believer's covenant responsibility. And we're made to understand that one of the most misappropriated words is the word servant of God. A servant of God has been clearly defined from scriptures as anyone serving God and the interest of his kingdom. Anyone serving God 
at the interest of his kingdom is a servant of God. Whether it be young or old, whether it be male or female, with or without a title, everyone serving God and the interest of his kingdom is a servant of God. And we've come to understand that serving God is not a calling. It is not a gift, but it is a choice. Joshua 24 and verse 15, Choose ye this day whom ye shall serve. Serving God is a choice. He said, those that obey and serve me, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Job 36 and verse 11. It's a choice. Every individual has the choice placed before him or her. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19, I place before you life and death, blessing and cursing. You choose life. So everyone's position with God is, a determine, is, the, is determined by their decision. Their decision. So your stewardship is a product of your decision. Serving God is not a gift. You can't say I'm not gifted in service. Serving God is not a calling. You can't say I'm not called to be a servant. Every individual has the opportunity by decision to serve God. Shout hallelujah. And we have come to understand that serving God entitles us to rewards that has no comparison on the earth. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 down to verse 9, it said, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that also shall he reap. In verse 8, it said, But he that sows to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Let us therefore not be weary in well-doing because we will reap it in due season if we fail not. In other words, the, di the direction in which you sow determines the direction in which you reap. He said, now if you sow to the spirit, out of the spirit, you will reap things of everlasting relevance. Things of everlasting relevance. If you sow to the flesh, you will reap, but it will be of natural relevance. It will only be limited. He said, you will reap corruption, things that can die, things that can be destroyed. But when you sow to the spirit, you reap life everlasting, things of everlasting relevance. That is where God begins to make of a man an eternal excellency. That is where God begins to lay upon a man the kind of weight of glory that is exceeding and eternal by reason of investment. Shout hallelujah. I see somebody getting there in the name of Jesus Christ. But we've come to see very clearly that in all of these, we must have the appropriate understanding in order to invest effectively. Let us see this this morning, very important, that you don't have to be a prophet to serve God. You don't have to be a prophet to serve God. The word servant of God, like we said earlier, has been greatly misappropriated, misapplied. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 28, in the multitude of the people is the king's honor. And the Bible says, he that honors me, no matter his title, 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 30, I will honor. And he that despises me, I will lightly esteem. So your own, your own stewardship to God is not dependent on your title or your calling. You don't have to be a prophet to serve God. Look at what Jesus said in the book of John chapter 12, verse 14, verse um, 24 to 26. He said there, except the corn of wheat fall to the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forth more fruit. He said, any man that hates his life, he says, shall gain it. The one that loveth his own life shall lose it. He said, if any man serve me in this fashion, please, anywhere you see any man in the Bible, get excited because it means it can apply to anybody. If any man serve me, let him, that individual, any man, is tied to notwithstanding, let him follow me. For where I am, the position I've been placed, there shall he be also. He said, and if any man serve me, him will my father honor. Any man, any man, any man. So there is no one excluded. 
it encompasses any man is he called a brother any man a sister any man is he called an apostle any man a prophet any man no tie to any man forgotten individual any man if any man serve me he said him will my father honor so you don't have to be a prophet to be a servant of god and we have the example of david david was a king and yet the scriptures refer to him as god's servant in psalm 89 verse 20 down to verse 24 psalm 89 verse 20 the scripture verse psalm 89 verse 20 24 i found david what my servant david was a king but god referred to him as my servant with my holy oil i've anointed him he said with whom my own hand shall be established my arm also shall strengthen him he said the enemy shall not exact upon him nor the sons of wickedness afflict him he said i will beat down his foes before his face and i will plague them that hate him and verse 24 he said but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horn be exalted this is the heritage of a servant of god and i pray that that will become our experience as individuals in the name of jesus christ somebody believe me say a loud amen I said, somebody believe me, say a loud amen. In the book of Acts chapter 13 and verse 36, the Bible speaking concerning David, he said, after he had served his generation, he fell asleep. After he had served his generation, that is, he served God's agenda in his generation, he fell asleep. He was a servant to the core. So your title, your vocation, your career, your business, notwithstanding, your choice to serve God is what makes you a servant of God. Your choice, your decision to serve God and to serve his purpose, whatever he's saying in any generation, whatever he's doing in any generation, your decision to serve that purpose is what makes you a servant of God. And I pray that this morning, by this exhortation and by the encounter you are having upon this mountain, that you also shall be enlisted among the servants of God in the name of Jesus. I said you also shall be enlisted among the servants of God in the name of Jesus. Therefore, when you are serving God, you are not wasting your time, but it is a covenant platform for your supernatural breakthrough. It is a covenant platform for your supernatural breakthrough. First Corinthians 15 and verse 58, he said, be steadfast. He said, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. You are not wasting your time. You are not wasting your time. You are investing your time. It is an investment that will produce a harvest in your life. In Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3, he said, Those that are wise, they shall shine as the firmament, and those that turn many to righteousness as the stars of heaven forever and ever. It means that you are ordained as a servant of God for supernatural breakthrough. That becomes your identity supernatural breakthrough wherever they see you you are identified with breakthrough that will become somebody's experience from now if you are the one i'm talking about say louder amen. amen i said if you are the one i'm talking about say louder amen. amen that will become your experience from now in the name of jesus so a servant of god is ordained by god for supernatural breakthrough today may grace be granted to each one of us not only for the choice of stewardship but for the work of stewardship in the name of jesus christ lift up your right hand to heaven in your seated position and speak to the lord this morning lord i receive grace grace to be faithful and effective as a steward to be faithful and effective as a steward i've seen what is in it for me but i receive grace i receive grace you can pray that prayer both in the spirit and in your understanding but make sure you are praying with your heart. Make sure you are praying with your heart. I receive grace this morning. I receive grace this morning to be faithful and to be effective in my stewardship in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. In a moment, we are going to rise to pray again. But before we do that, we have this great opportunity that God has given to us as a family 
in the everywhere and every house mandate which commenced last week in terms of the gathering of the various locations but we also have many of us who have individuals who may be a group of people all of them unsaved maybe you went to a garage a mechanic workshop or you went to a certain locality and everybody there is unsaved there is nobody everybody there is a new convert no one yet is set or qualified to be a leader of such a home cell and so for such reasons such places have not been nominated wherever we are this morning we have the opportunity to pick up one of the cards each one of them and indicate there that there is need for a minister so that somebody can be gathered and appointed to carry out that assignment so before we conclude and pray this morning if you're here in that category whether it's every house the every house card is the green card everywhere mandate card is the red card we have the opportunity to enlist such locations many of us have gone to several places and we have all new converts everybody there's a new convert nobody can coordinate the fellowship but somebody can be sent there in order to raise them up remember the bible says that paul gathered 12 new disciples in a place called the school of tyrannus and there for two years he nurtured them and from those 12 the entire asia heard the word of the lord there are many of those new converts that as they are nurtured under god they become instrument to rake the entire community to christ therefore we must not ignore them we must take advantage of the opportunity to nurture them for jesus anyone in that category quickly just uh, lift your hand and then we'll have um, cards distributed to us both here and in all the various centers you have new converts in a location that need a center to be put around them whether it's their workplace or around them in terms of their homes you quickly just indicate by lifting your hand and officials will put a card in your hand please quickly do that god bless you shout glory quickly just indicate let your hand be lifted and then we'll put that card in your hand and you put you quickly fill out the details and indicate please on the form so that it's not mixed with others that a minister is needed please indicate that very clearly on the form a minister is needed and then we'll be able to take care of that shout hallelujah i said shout hallelujah let's be reminded also operation go forward continues how many of us are going forward is somebody here going forward are you advancing amen it, it continues and each one of us today we are reading on the way to work those of us going to work reading on the way back from work and then we have the morning raid at 8 a.m in the morning and evening raid at 5 p.m this evening and it will be a blessed time in the presence of the lord god is doing wonders on the harvest field there are multitudes being turned to christ satan is losing and jesus is winning every single day we are seeing the victory of christ and we shall continue to see it today in the name of the lord jesus christ please all of those who have picked up the form do quickly fill them out and then you return them to the officials as you are departing this morning everyone rise on your feet today i'd like you to say a word to god lord today make me an instrument of your harvest today 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 there are souls you have appointed for me today make me an instrument today make me an instrument today make me an instrument today pray for yourself right now lift up your voice to heaven make me an instrument today 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 make me an instrument of harvest today thank you mighty god in jesus precious name we have prayed by that simple prayer you have prayed, I'd like you to begin to picture how God will use you today. God sent Peter one day. The whole house of Cornelius was ripped. So many of us, maybe you don't yet have a community of people that you can gather. But if you say, Lord, that's what I desire today, he will give it to you. That is a group of people gathered together, saved and delivered by, by Christ through you. That will be your experience today in the name of Jesus. Lift up your right hand to heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, according to your word your people have gathered and they have received that which you have spoken let grace be released upon every life today lord grace to be effective in your harvest field we receive it today and for everyone as we go about the business of the day let the reward of service 
begin to answer for each one in the name of Jesus. Your people have come giving you the first part of their day. Let the rest of the day be loaded with your blessing. As you go forth, go under the covering of heaven. As you return again, you are returning with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, today doors open to you. Today barriers break for you. Today protocols are broken on your behalf. Today favor answers for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, today marks a turnaround for you. Today is your testimony day. Today is your breakthrough day. Today is your turnaround day. Today is your lifting day. Today is your promotion day. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be for you. In Jesus' precious name. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together in fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And you shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. From glory to glory. And from glory to glory. Congratulations. Congratulations, somebody as you go. Be blessed. Please, everyone who has picked up the form, make sure you drop it with your officials as you go. Be blessed.